Hey, what's up, guys? Hard Lake Joe here, the Water Deck Profile for the Amazonist Beatdown Deck. I'm just gonna go through everything in here, and then I'll explain how it works. And before anyone asks, I do do have a little bit of bronchitis, so my apologies if my voice sounds weird. But anyway, for monsters, we've got one Amazonist Queen, two Amazonist Swordswoman, three Amazonist Sage, three Amazonist Princess, three Amazonist Spy, three King of the Swamp, three Amazonist Scouts, and three Amazonist Pet Baby Tiger. Our spells are three Amazonist Spellcaster, one Reinforcements of the Army, three Polymerization, three Amazonist Call, one Amazonist Heirloom, and two Amazonist Village. Our traps, three Amazonist Willpower, three Amazonist Ambush. Our extra deck is two Amazonist Empress, two Amazonist Pet Liger, and one each of Utopia the Lightning, Utopia, Baguska, uh, Castell, Kagaga Cowboy, Nightmare Shark, Grand Pulse, Gaia Saber, Decode Talker, Akashic Magician, and Mrs. Radiant. The side deck I'll go over in a little bit. So this is a beat down deck. You want to beat people down. Uh, there's actually a really good combo that you can use with this. It'll let just about anything beat down, assuming your opponent has uh, a monster, especially a high attack monster. If they have multiple monsters, that's even better. And that is Amazon as Spellcaster, lets you target an Amazon you control and one face-up monster your opponent controls. Switch the attack of the targets. And then we've got Amazon as Call, you can take one Amazon as card from your deck except for itself and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard, which is good search power in general. But its second effect is if it's in the graveyard, you can banish it, target an Amazon as you control. This turn, it can attack all monsters your opponent controls, but no one of your other Amazons can, can, can attack. So these two work really well in combination. You can get one of your really small monsters like Scouts or Pet, Pet Baby Tiger, uh, boost its attack up to like 3,000 or something if they have like a Blue Eyes or something else really powerful, and then make it so it can attack everything. Adding with that, probably their most powerful boss monster is Amazonist Empress. It's one Amazonist Queen and one other Amazonist monster, uh, but Amazonist Princess counts as Amazonist Queen when she's on the field. So making her is actually not that difficult. Uh, you can also use King of the Swamp counts as he can be substituted for one fusion material whose name specifically listed. So if you have him and then Polymerization and any other Amazon, you can make Empress or Liker. But Empress is probably your, your bigger beat stick. It's got 2800 attack. Other Amazonists you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. And if an Amazonist, including itself, attacks a defense position monster, it does piercing damage. So not only does it have a lot of attack compared to everything else, but it's going to let you do piercing damage, so if they have a bunch of defense position monsters, you can take care of them, especially using Amazonist Call. In addition, if this fusion summon card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because your opponent's card effect, while I while you control it, you can special summon one Amazonist Queen from your hand, deck, or graveyard. And Amazonist Queen, that's why we play the, just the one of it, because if this gets destroyed, you can bring this out. It's got 2400 attack, and it makes so that all Amazonist monsters, including itself, cannot be destroyed by battle. So it's an additional beat stick that floats that helps protect some of your monsters. In addition, because this is named Queen in the graveyard, you could summon it out of the graveyard when it gets destroyed. And when this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Amazonist spell trap from your deck to your hand. So this searches all your spell traps, including Amazonus Call, and Amazonus Call searches pretty much everything in the deck. It also has the effect that when it declares an attack, it can send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon an Amazonus from your deck in defense position, except a copy of itself, which can actually be pretty good for tagging into things, specifically Amazonus Scouts. This is kind of a pretty neat protection during either player's turn. You contribute this card. Face-up Amazonus monsters you control cannot be targeted by monster effects. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. So if this is on your field, you contribute it during your opponent's turn. You can chain it to, like, Raigeki, and none of your Amazonus monsters will be destroyed. So they, you could do a pretty good combo with, like, tagging one of your other monsters out for this. If you could end on Empress and this, then you're pretty set, because this has really high attack, and this will stop it from being targeted or destroyed. So I didn't really mention it until now, but this is also kind of a, got toolbox elements to it. Not quite enough to make it a toolbox, but because you can search all these things out, you have some pretty neat things you can do. Working with that is Amazon is Sage. She's our spell trap removal. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked and is still on the field, target one spell trap your opponent controls and destroy that target. So it's a little bit difficult. It has to survive the attack. Um, but, again, you can use Spellcaster to give it a lot of attacks so that you can destroy their spell traps. You can make it attack uh, all their monsters, which I've actually, in, in a very niche case against Pendulums, had it so where this could attack five monsters and I just blew up their entire back row because they didn't have any battle traps and they had already used uh, 
their pendulum a graph. So th this this can be a pretty nice tech. Same thing with Amazon as Swordwoman. This is your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving this card. So this can be a good detriment to stop your opponent from attacking. It can also be good with Amazon as Call if they have a bunch of high attack monsters you attack into all of them. Of course, in order to make the most use of that, you have to use our one Amazonus Heirloom. Because you can search this with either Princess or Call, we only played it one. Uh, but uh, with this, you can actually do an OTK uh, occasionally. Equip to an Amazonus monster. That monster cannot be destroyed by battle. And if it attacks, after damage calculation, destroy the attack target. So again, great way to clear the field is this, plus Amazonus Heirloom, plus Call. Uh, this will be able to attack into everything, your opponent's taking all the damage, it's not destroyed by battle, and you destroy their monsters at the end of the battle phase. You can get a similar thing if you get Queen out, because it stops your opponent from being, dis er, but it stops your cards from being destroyed by battle. Same thing with Empress, Empress also prevents you from being destroyed by battle. So a couple different combinations you can do with that. Our final two Amazonists is Amazonist Spy, if this is in your hand, reveal one other Amazonist in your hand. Special Summon it. Once per turn, if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, target an Amazonist in your graveyard and either add it to your hand or shuffle it to your deck. This is really good just for getting, like, sort of field presence because you can special summon it. It can be useful for making your links. We just kind of got a toolbox. Uh, it's also a level 3, so you can make some uh, level 3 Ixies if you need to, or rank 3, I should say. It's also good for recurring your resources. You can just throw it out there. If it gets destroyed, you can add a princess back. You can use princess's effect with this, like attack for 800, then attack with this and send it to the graveyard to get out your scout so you're safe during your opponent's turn. And then finally, it's level 3, which works really good with Amazonus Village. I didn't mention this. Again, we're only playing 2 because you can search it really easily with pretty much everything. And you don't want to get extra copies of this, although it is good to have a backup in case it gets destroyed. All Amazonists gain 200 attack, which is not really that important. But if an Amazonist is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon an Amazon from your deck with a level less than or equal to. So if you have Amazonist Village out, you can put this out in defense mode, and when they destroy it, because it's the same level as Princess, you get to summon Princess from the deck. You can also use it to get your scouts, or even your pet baby tiger, which is the last Amazonist I didn't mention. This guy, in addition to being the most adorable card ever, uh, its name is Amazonist Tiger while it's on the field or in the graveyard, which is good for making Liger. This is one Amazonist Tiger plus one Amazonist Monster. And if an Amazonist is normal or special summoned to your side of the field while this is in your hand or graveyard, you can special summon this card. So this thing just keeps coming back, which again makes it good fodder for Amazonist Princess and makes it good link fodder, because anytime you summon any Amazon, this thing's going to come back. It also gains 100 attack for each Amazonist card in your graveyard, which in the late game can actually stack up, give it a solid, like, 1100, 1200 attack, which is not that much on its own, but it's really good with Amazonist Spellcaster because this swaps the original attack of the monsters. So again, say you got five Amazonists in the graveyard, your opponent has a blue eyes, you use Spellcaster, your blue opponent's blue eyes becomes 500, Amazonus Baby Tiger has a original attack of 3,000, plus it gains the 500 for every Amazonus in the graveyard, plus if you've got Village. So you can actually get this up to like 4,000, and then again with Call, attack into everything. Our last two tech cards are just Amazonus Willpower. This is essentially Call of the Haunted, but Amazonus centered. You can target an Amazonus in your graveyard, special summon an attack position. Uh, it can't change its battle position, and it must attack if able, so it's kind of worse than, than uh than Call of the Haunted in some ways, but most of the time you can use that for fusion material or summon something that doesn't matter if it attacks, like uh, Swordswoman or something that you're going to be using for uh, Princess's effect. The only reason we play this over something like Back to the Front Lines is because it's searchable since it's an Amazonist card. You could search it with Call, you could search it with Princess. Might want to move it down to two, maybe, if, if I were to do this again, because it can get bricky at times, but... It, it's almost never bad to get another search with Princess by summoning it again. And then finally, the most powerful trap in, 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 the, in the deck, possibly the game, Amazonus Ambush. This has three effects. First, during the battle phase, you can special summon an Amazonus from your hand, and it gains 500 attack until the end of the turn. Second, if an Amazonus monster you control battles an opponent's monster after damage calculation, banish that opponent's monster, and that's not once per turn. And then if this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon an Amazonist from your graveyard. So this is just a great... A lot of people don't have outs to non-targeting banishment, uh, which means every time they attack into one of your monsters, you're going to be able to banish whatever attacks. You combine this with something like Amazonist Village that keeps your monsters floating. Every time they're destroyed, you get another one. Something like Baby Tiger that keeps coming back. 
So say you got Tiger in the graveyard, one of your monsters gets destroyed, you're banishing their monster, summoning out another monster of the same level, and then Tiger comes back as well. So you can really keep up the field presence with this, and if you keep summoning Princess, you just keep getting more searches. And of course, with Amazonas Call again in the graveyard, you can attack everything and banish all their monsters, especially if you can't be destroyed by battle, either because of Heirloom or because Empress. Um, so just a, a really great card, and if they get rid of it, then you're, you just get another monster out of the graveyard. Uh, my throat is killing me, so I'm just going to real quick, the, the extra deck is just sort of like a, a hodgepodge, it's a toolbox. You can put whatever links or whatever rank 4s and 3s you want in there. I play at least one Empress, you probably don't need two. Same thing with Liger. Uh, Liger is basically just a beat stick, if it attacks it gains 500, so it goes to 3000 during your turn. Um, and if an Amazonist monster is, attacks an opponent's monster after damage calculation, you can make that monster, you can make one face-up monster your opponent controls lose 800 attack permanently. And your opponent can only attack Liger. So it's, it's useful in niche purposes, it doesn't float like Empress, and it doesn't protect the rest of your stuff, except by making it the only attack target. As for the side deck, what I'd actually run more heirlooms in case you, you find yourself up against something like Blue Eyes, something with a whole bunch of high attack point monsters. This can be really useful, especially a more battle focused deck. Goki's really good against uh, as well. Same thing with Amazonist Village. If they have a lot of destruction, a third copy could help. Terraforming could help search you out if you're feeling like some of these aren't useful. Maybe they don't have any uh, spell traps for you to remove, so you want to get rid of Sage. Maybe put some Terraforming. Maybe some Twin Twisters if they have a lot of spell trap removal and you want something more reliable than a monster. Amazonist Shamanism is pretty good. You can destroy all face up. Amazonist you control. Special summon any number of level 4 lower Amazonists from your graveyard up to the number of monsters destroyed. Which can help you dodge out of certain effects or again just reuse your Amazonist Princess. Or you can destroy like Pet Baby Tiger, summon something, and then Tiger will come back out of the graveyard. Um, and then there's just a couple others. Again, Queen, another version of Queen might be useful. Another Amazonist Sword Woman, especially if they're banishing stuff. And then uh, Chain Master. If this card's destroyed by battle, pay 1,500 life points. Look at your opponent's hand. Add one monster from their hand to your hand. Uh, not really all that good, but it has one of the most unique effects in the game, being able to steal a card from your opponent's hand. So in niche situations, or if you're just wanting to troll people, I could see that working. So there you go. There's your uh, deck for this week. Next week, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, hopefully I'll be feeling better by then. Until then, good luck, and have fun. Mm -hmm.